Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your February 2020, um, 17th through the 29th reading. I'm going to do it for the mid-month, end-month. Okay, and this is for cusps, of course. Anyone who's born 19th through the 25th. Okay, that's just in case you're not sure whether you're a cusp sign or not. I do have a few people that are not sure. So. Let's see. Today is the beginning 100% of that Mercury retrograde. So, as I say to everybody, good luck. You never know what the tides have turned during a retrograde, especially Mercury. For me, it always seems like it's Mars and Mercury that always kind of do a swing thing. So, and being that you have that Leo in you, you might be feeling it a little more. I am Leo rising, so I am feeling a little bit of the anxiousness, a little nervousness little topsy-turvy, I guess, in emotions. So, and of course, Virgos are going to feel it as well. So being that you're a Leo Virgo, you're probably feeling it pretty well. So being that it's only my, <clears throat> my rising sign, I'm not feeling it probably as much as you are. So I'm just wishing everybody the best of luck during this time. And let's get on with this reading. Okay. Let's see what we have here for you. I will let you know right now, these things do not like me at all. <laughs> okay, I am not graceful enough for them. So you have the Justice card upside down. This is going to be your energy that you're in. This is pretty much what you're thinking, feeling, that kind of thing. Sorry about that. Okay. My regular sign is Taurus, so I'm not the most graceful. <clears throat> so that's why I always have problems with these things. And you have the Four of Pentacles upside down. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use these Oracle cards. I like to use these a lot. They're great helping cards. Kind of get down right into the midst of things. Here's your card. Oh, they gave me two cards. Okay, so it says you're patiently planning for new beginnings, okay? So it says you're patiently planning for new beginnings with the justice upside down. So you might be feeling a little imbalanced and that could be because of this Mercury retrograde we were just talking about, how you feel a little wishy-washy. So, interesting. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, maybe you're not feeling is a little imbalanced and not feeling really in control at this time, which it looks like you, you know, are patiently planning for the new beginning. So <clears throat> I'm going to use the same cards again. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing that with you washing this right now of emotions. It's funny, we were just talking about that. <laughs> So, okay, this is your present, what's going on in the present. You have the star and the queen of cups in the past, the recent past, you had the chariot moving forward. And then in the recent um, future here, okay, it could be the end of the month going into March. Time is a little fluid, so sometimes it doesn't always happen like that. It could take a little bit longer. Okay, so <clears throat> you have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay. So I think we'll just start over here in the present because it looks in the past like you were just moving forward, doing what you were supposed to be doing. And let's just kind of clarify on this star. It looks like you're hoping, right, and planning, and there you have it here, right? Wishing, maybe wishing upon a star. See, there they go. Okay. Well, the good news is you're not 100% in your head. You're having a transition moment. And you're probably transitioning here because I see the new beginnings coming. So you're going to let go of everything that was in the past. Okay. 
to get to these new beginnings. Okay. Going through a transition moment. And that also could be why you're also feeling a little wishy-washy. Sometimes letting go of the past to get to new things can make us feel like we're lost something. Okay. Maybe something didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to go. Okay, and it kind of made you unbalanced, unsteady. Okay, then you have the Queen of Cups over here. Okay, feeling those emotions, right? Feeling the emotions. Getting to the Ace of Cups, you want that new beginning. Okay, so you feel like you know what you want and you're emotionally ready for this um, you know, deep down inside, you're emotionally ready for this new beginning. It's just that your thinking is a little topsy-turvy, right? With the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So, and then here, here it is again, right? That feeling unbalanced, that feeling like I'm kind of juggling two things at once, and maybe it's two emotions at once. In my head, I'm feeling um, not, quite, not quite balanced, okay? And I don't feel like I'm 100% in control of the situation, you know, that's at hand. But yet, deep down inside, I know what I want, right, with the Queen of Cups over here. And completely just ready for this new beginning. It just, But the patience and the planning is what's kind of getting you offset, right? So, you know, that is one of those things that happen. So over here, you know, you're just feeling kind of reluctant, you know, making you feel a little reluctant. So, okay, which is not bad energy. That's very normal a lot of times when we are going through a transition. Okay, so you have to carry it over here in the past. This is how you, pretty much this is how you got here, right? <coughs> Why you needed this new transformation, new beginning. So with the chariot... You have the Ace of Pentacles upside down with the Magician and the King of Pentacles upside down. Everything's reversed. Everything is reversed. So, okay. Oh, let's see. Let's look at this for a second. We're moving forward until everything kind of stalled, right? Everything just kind of stopped. Maybe it wasn't going um, the way you wanted it to go. This is going to be, um, I haven't seen anything. This could be either way for, for either, you know. For some of you, this is going to be a job. And for some of you, this is going to be love. There's a lot of cups and a lot of coins. So... For some of you, yeah, cups and cups and cups, so, or, you know, it could be anything, really, but <clears throat> I would generally say that this is going to resonate with those either for love or for uh, a job. Since that seems to be the mm, pretty much the major things on the table. So this is a card of imbalance, but it's also a card of disorder. So like I said, something got stalled. So maybe something was lacking potential. Could be this King of Pentacles over here. Okay. Could be an actual person for some of you. Right? And for others of you, maybe this is just um, overthinking a situation, or this could be having, you know, your loved one feeling like he's in control over you, and this is where the imbalance is coming, and so you're patiently planning. Okay. And then in other ways, like I said, overcompensating. So I'm also getting this feeling like if I could change this, 
if this was a job, if I could change this, money could make me feel so much better, right? Because I'm not making the pinnacles that I need. Okay. Let me get the hermit. Um, it just feels like you're not, you know, I'm trying to look at it as a whole. It's like cold and withdrawn because you're not, and maybe that's where this, that's how you, this is pretty much how you got in that, was this. But I don't really feel like you're really cold and withdrawn. I think that this just made you really imbalanced. I got two cards of imbalance, and I think this just kind of made you hold back more than anything, make you go think. You might even feel, even though the Eight of Swords is not uh, right side up, you might even feel like you're, you know, kind of trapped in your head. As they say, prisoner in your own mind, right? And, you know, you may have been, you know, a prisoner in your own mind here trying to get yourself balanced and trying to do things. But in the present, you're, you know, you're not in that energy. So that's a good thing. So whatever, you know, whatever this was in the past, you know, that got you here, this stalling, and like I said, whether this is a person or not, it just really made you go into this withdrawn mode. I just think it really made you start thinking, and that's where you started planning. So over here, getting into the near future, over here you have the Queen of Swords standing in your intellect. Okay, so you might even be... Be, if this is money, maybe this is uh, taking a new job as a boss, you know, getting your pinnacles, taking a new job that's higher standards than, you know, your last job was. If this is a relationship, maybe you have better communication with your partner than you had before. Okay, because now you're making more money, maybe the money situation. I mean, over here, this can also be a person who thinks that money can make you better, right? Right could be yourself or your partner, you know, being that, you know, if I have better money, I can be a better person, you know, because then I won't have the debt that I have. I'll, you know, be in higher standings. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you have the judgment card, the six of wands, and the nine of pentacles. So <coughs> with the judgment, you know, you're getting your victory. It's not the best news. You know, maybe you're communicating to somebody that this is not the best news. Maybe it's because you're still patiently planning, right? So I'm sorry, I don't have the best of news for you yet. This hasn't come to play. So maybe you're telling this King of Pentacles, I'm sorry, I haven't gotten this job yet. Okay, it's still in the process of being planned, but I will have my victory. I will win. You know, I will get those new beginnings that I'm looking for. It's just hasn't happened yet. I'm really getting this as a job for a lot of you. <laughs> but I think that there's a relationship going on. It's almost like... Um, for somebody, or, or maybe even many of you, you're like talking to your partner. Your partner's not happy about this job situation, okay? You're not bringing home the pinnacles that I need. Maybe this person that you're with is a little greedy as well. I'm just saying. doesn't have to be, okay? Well, maybe, or maybe this person just, you guys really need this money, okay? And to live, and they're not happy with the situation, and you're trying to tell them, Hey, look, I'm trying to do this, okay? It just, it hasn't come yet, but it's coming, okay? To be the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Your Nine of Pentacles is upside down right now, but that doesn't mean it has to be forever, right? You know, maybe it's, uh, maybe this, maybe this King of Pentacles, because, you know, they're Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe they're a little materialistic as well, right? Maybe they're a little... Um, indulgent in money because I really see a lot of indulgence in money. They really want that money. Or maybe you're a little materialistic and you need the money, right? Because everybody needs what they want. Hey, I want a new pair of shoes. 
I want to be able to pay the bills and have a new pair of shoes. Yeah. I'm, this is a Taurus Capricorn card. This is a Taurus card, so maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Okay, or a Capricorn. Right? I'm Taurus. I'll tell you right now. I, I want to be able to pay all the bills and get a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Okay, so, yeah. And so you're like, no, I'm, you know, I'm going to have this. Don't worry about that. But it's almost like they feel kind of like they nag at you. Is it happening yet? Is it happening yet? You know, and you're like, no, I'm patiently planning it. And maybe this is where this wishy-washiness is kind of coming through. Like, hey, just back up a little bit. You know, I'm trying. So then you have the Six of Cups over here. With the Four of Cups, feeling like doubt. And, okay, now you're feeling doubt, right? You've been thinking about it. Okay, and now you're starting to have some doubt. There's your card, or one of your cards. This is one of your cards. We have two of your cards up on the table, so. Three. Okay, so. Towards the end of the month, you might feel like, because this, you're still waiting, it's going to feel like it feels right here like it's never you're just dreaming and you're in doubt and you're feeling like okay well, I'm still keeping the strength and I'm still keeping the confidence that this is coming through but I'm not I'm not I'm worried it's not going to come right the only reason I see the red flag here is that the red flags are telling you that maybe what you're trying to do is just not it's it's not ready yet So, you know, you're not getting where you want to get towards the end of the month. Now, that does not mean that it's not coming, right? It just means it's not here yet. Okay, but you're still, and, and this communication also could be with the person that you're trying to get the job from. Maybe you just have to keep communicating to them. Hey, are we ready yet? Hey, you know. So, however you're communicating, whether it's with this King of Pentacles, you know, or with it, you know, as a partner, or it's communicating with the job, trying to ask them, when is, you know, when is this job going to be available for me? Or, you know, still trying to get a job, still calling them to see if they'll call you back, right? Because you really, whatever this is, you really want it, right? And you know it's going to bring that new beginnings in. Get, uh, I'm going to take an Oracle card. Wow, they threw me a lot. They want to tell me a story here. Oh, actually, it's only two. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, the outcome for this is the fertility, which is the prosperity card with the universe. There's, you know, that new beginnings. So, you have new beginnings here and the new beginnings here. So, it looks like, you know, one way or another, you're going to get a new beginning. Okay, and you're going to be prosperous. So, as long as you continue to do what you need to do, you're going to feel that prosperity. Okay. So I will clarify on the prosperity really fast. This fertility card. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles, just keep moving forward. Okay. Don't feel like it's not coming. It looks like it's just like it is. It's patiently planning itself out. Okay, you are in a transition. This is still a transition card. It is the same as the death card. You are still in a transition place. Okay, the place in transitioning. And it, like I said, it's for a lot of it, I really feel this is a transition from one job to the next job. So <clears throat> you really are in that transitional place, you know, and I really do feel... <clears throat> like it's coming it's just you know here it is eight of eight of ones you're just waiting for that text you're waiting for that phone call you're waiting for uh you know okay and it could be from this king of cups okay so you are in transition waiting for that phone call for them to tell you 
whatever it is, that, however this resonates with you. Like I said, I'm going with the work one because I see a lot of pentacles up here. You're really waiting for that. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Okay, but like I said, it also could be love. I'm really seeing a lot of love up here too. Okay, so because of these cups and pinnacles. So however it resonates, take it as you want it. Okay, but you're waiting for this text message from this King of Cups no matter what. Plain and simple, you're waiting for a text message from a Pisces, Scorpio. Here we go again. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Okay. And, of course, if it's not that, it could be just the energy they're putting off. Okay, but um, you're definitely going to have the Ten of Cups, and you're definitely going to, it's going to make you feel more achieved, no matter what. Okay, because I really do see this as being two cards in one. This is, you are waiting for the Ten of Cups so that you can feel it more self-assured. The job or the love is coming, and, or whatever it is that you're waiting for, and you're going to be, feeling so much more like you achieved your goal okay and i also feel that someone out there is waiting for a call from a a uh, water sign okay and this person is a water sign okay so let's do um you know what? i don't want to do that one yet because that one's always fun but i want to do the angel cards first for you guys i usually use at least two, three, or four decks for extra messages, okay? It's called, I consider it reassurance and keeping our energy high, okay? So, I like to keep everybody as positive as possible because positivity is what gets us places. Negative does not bring us anywhere, okay? And remember, when we're wishy-washy, we don't, we want to try to stay out of this energy as much as is possible because when you're bouncing around, you know, and juggling back and forth, this juggling between that positive and negative energy, there is no such thing as middle ground. Okay. There's no such thing as middle ground. There's no such thing as middle energy. Okay. There's no gray energy. Okay. So when you're starting to feel like this, try to, you know, figure out how to pump yourself up and I will give you ideas. That's why I use these to help you keep that energy high because when you're like this, and you're unbalanced, it causes confusion. And that's really what this is. This wishy-washy imbalance is confusion. Okay, and confusion is a negative um, emotion. Okay, it's an, no matter how you want to see, it's negative energy. Okay, so I will show you these cards to try to pull you out of that. So when you really start feeling like this, we will pull that out so that you can feel more positive. Positivity makes faster, faster action, right? Okay, so, Angel say, whatever, whoever out there was asking a question, your answer is unlikely. Okay, that's what Spirit wants you to know. It is unlikely. I'm going to put this over here, though, because I don't want to set my cards on fire. You just never know. And so, it is unlikely. I'm going to move this one, too, for now. Okay, so, and I will get another one. That is just for whoever was asking a question. Choose a new direction. Well, that is exactly what you're doing, right? Choose a new direction. So for some of you, maybe the direction that you're going is not a wise direction. Maybe you, it hasn't come to you in some ways because, it, you know, it's not a good direction. For others of you, you're already on that path to choose a new direction, and you're doing a great job. Okay, sometimes we might think that we might be on the right direction, and that direction is not exactly where we want to be, right? So, I, I just wanted, the spirit is just, I, I heard it in my head. They're agreeing with me. Yes, this is what that means. I just want to bring that out. <laughs> We're not going to. We're not going to use it, but yes. Yes, you're right. Okay, and forgiveness. Whatever, however this resonates with you, somebody out there needs to know forgiveness is the answer. I have no idea. Okay, spirit just comes through to say things. So, okay, maybe something happened. You know, like I said, this could have been love. So, okay, 
Well, maybe it has something to do with that. Whoever that resonates with, you know exactly who you are. Okay, and that's I'm leaving it alone. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. You know exactly what that means. Okay, just like whoever knows what unlikely is, you know exactly who I'm talking to. <clears throat> okay, and I am going to use the Archangel Animal cards. These are great for that inspiration I was saying to try to get you out of this confusion, this up and down energy, trying to keep that energy high with inspirational messages from these beautiful cards. And I always say, let's be an animal. Because, you know, it's just kind of fun, right? So the animal you're going to be is the owl. Listen to the message of the angels. Well, and they just said what they said, so we'll put it right here, okay? So I'm going to pick two of these cards because there's a lot of you. Some resonate with some and some don't. Okay, and Spirit says, be a cat. Ooh, and you're that Leo in you. Totally want to be a kitty. Be relaxed and independent, okay? Just completely relax. Okay, when you start feeling like this, and you obviously are feeling like this right now, I just want you to take a deep breath in, and then release, and relax, okay? This hypertension, this anxiety, okay? Just kind of relax, okay? And go within, right? Kind of go within. Okay, and I will use the... This is another deck that I like to use. This is the Life Purpose deck. These cards have so many different, you know, potentials. Like, if you're looking for a career, they're great. They can help you. They're also great for uh, messages on how to relax and how to um, heal. So we're using these as healing and relaxing. Okay. At this moment. So, teaching. You inspire young people to learn. Okay, so as we use this on a, on a level of healing and meditation, okay, obviously, you know, if you're looking for a job, you'd be great as a teacher, okay? But because we're doing this as healing, unless that resonates with somebody, there's your answer. Teaching is great for you. Okay, you inspire young people to learn. So what I want you to do is teaching. Go read, you know? Um, maybe you want to hang out with young children, okay? Hang out with your children, your nephews, your nieces, you know, stuff like that, if you have them around you, okay? Or either that or, you know, like I said, go read a book, you know, however it is, right? And that's always great. It's great. So, you know, just kind of get your mind off of, you know, all of this stuff that's going on around you while you're patiently waiting, okay? And I, you know what? I'm going to grab another card because not everybody wants to go read a book and not everybody has young people around them to be able to go hang out with. So this one is leadership. Oh, okay. Yeah, having that Leo in you. <clears throat> Whether you are the Leo with the Virgo or whether you're the Virgo with the Leo, it doesn't really matter. Take that charge and be in control of the situation. So if there is a situation that is here that you are kind of wishy-washy about, just go ahead and take the leadership role. Okay? Just take control of what you need to do. Because remember over here it says you have no control? Take your control back. Take your control back. And here's a great one. That's do yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. So, and I know not everybody in the world wants to go do yoga, okay? But if you are a part of a gym or you just, you know, take a walk, you know? If you don't really like exercising or stretching or yoga, just take a walk, you know? Take a walk or meditate, right? Take a bubble bath, you know? Do something that's putting you in this, this state of mind. Okay. Put you in that state of mind. It'll also help your chakras. And I do a lot of chakra readings. So 
um, you know, if you're interested, in, you know, interested in that, you can come watch the pick a card chakra readings. Um, I have not done them for cusps, um, but I do them for the, the regular, you know, regular ones, um, uh, regular, um, uh, zodiac signs, excuse me. Um, I have not done any for cusp yet. Um, but if you would like to learn about that or pick, you know, from doing that, you can come watch those videos. They will help you align and show you what is out of a line and what you should work on. Okay. That's always good. The more you have your chakras in line, the better energy you're going to have. Okay. So if you're interested in that, you can always, you know, take one of your, your cusp signs that, you know, that you resonate more on and then come watch that chakra pick a card and, you know, if you're interested, you know, in that, you can watch those videos. I'm getting ready to do some um, in a couple of days here. So, okay, for the month, I do them every month. Of course, I just started last month, so this will be my second chakra reading. Okay, and these are the Law of Attraction cards. I love to use these. I've had people ask me about this, which, you know, a lot of people feel... You know, they really do help to inspire and keep them ma uh, manifesting and keep their energy very high. So I will pick one for you. And yours is the law of attraction is my life's basis. Since the law of attraction is the basis of your experience and understanding of it is essential to living life on purpose. In fact, an understanding of the law of attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. Remember, we are not here to live like crap. We are here to be happy. Okay? So that will keep your positive, you know, your positivity um, high. And remember, you are to be happy. We are not here to be sad. Okay? And you have a purpose. Everybody has a purpose for being here. So just remember that. And if you can kind of remember the pieces and parts that seem to pop out at you, that will help you every time you feel like you're feeling, you know, whether it, you're feeling it right now or yesterday or, you know, you might even feel it in a couple of hours. I don't know. Okay. And that was your reading. And I thank you all for stopping by. And I hope you return. And I hope you watch my other videos. Um, like I said, I do have regular general readings. So if you're you know, resonating with one versus the other. You might want to watch those and see how those resonate with you as well. And uh, I will see you next time. And peace, love, and prosperity. Bye-bye.